Welcome to the Art Ladies Home. Today I'm going to show you how I make my charcuterie house. And it's just a, basically, it's just a glorified appetizer tray. So you can pick anything that you love for your appetizers. And then you can go ahead and add some things for the structure. For example, you need a lot of crackers. I do need, I, I put it all together with this um, squirt cheese. You could use cream cheese as well. And then I like to use these really thin Slim Jims as uh, awnings and things. They make great poles. So I like to use those. I don't necessarily like eating them, but I like um, the structure of it. So what I did was I basically went through the grocery store and I picked out things that would work that are edible. A lot of my family members like eating these. I know my son loves them. So I picked out things that would work and look cute on the house. For example, you got some black olives. And then of course, all your cheeses that you love for your um, appetizer trays. I like to use some type of a salami, even the smaller salamis. I used those small ones last year. That worked well for roofing materials. And then a variety of crackers work nicely. I even have a package that has a variety in it. And then you want something for like a dip or something for white snow, if you want to do a white one. Even if you did it, um, you could do, if you're going to do Mexican themed food, I even thought of layering refried beans and then your uh, guacamole and sour cream for the, um, for the base around the house. Today I'm using this spinach artichoke dip. It's got little specks of spinach in it, but, um, you could even lightly coat the top if you really wanted it to be solid white for the holidays with a little bit of sour cream too. But I'm going for flavor more than decorative for this one. This is a Thanksgiving charcuterie house. And then I went to the garden and just grabbed some um, rosemary sprigs. These look pretty um, around the house for decorations. And then I'm using some carrots just because I like dipping carrots in with this stuff. So I'm going to use these somewhere. I don't know exactly where, but I'll think about it, where they're going to go. But basically, you're grabbing a bunch of stuff that you would normally eat on your appetizer trays. And then we're thinking architectural structure. What, how, how would they relate to our little house here? Let me go ahead and show you the form that I'm using. This, I, when I've been making my charcuterie houses, I just usually use cardboard. And I take rectangles of cardboard, tape them together, tape the roof a peak on the roof. But then last year when I was doing my holiday decorations, this came in one of the little Christmas things that I bought. And it has this cool peak form to it where it forms the peak of the roof. And I just tape the two ends together and it forms a house shape, which is great. Now, I need to cover this, of course, and I covered it last year with some uh, aluminum foil and then at the end um, I just took it all off and I'm reusing it this year. So you could use a cardboard form or um, if you have something like this just keep your eye out as you're using packaging. Even styrofoam packaging would work if it's in that shape and then make your own peak for the roof. But you need some kind of structure to build this on. I've seen recipes my sister did last year of a tree where you needed like five packages of cream cheese to form the shape first. And I'm just using one of these shapes, pre-made, or uh, pre-done with cardboard or plastic, and then I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil. That worked out well last year. So I have my tray ready, and I'm using a glass, glass tray, and then I'm just going to wrap really well the form with some aluminum foil. And I double wrap it because I'm going to reuse it and I don't want my form getting all cheesy and sticky. And I'm going to show you that after I've done it. Okay, so I have my last round of aluminum foil and I just wrapped it right around and I want to keep it pretty flat. You notice it, I, there's no edges all over the place. 
there's a little bit of edges here that's all right but the main house is flat and my roof has nice flat areas and then everything came down into the bottom I did two coats of aluminum foil everywhere and then I just tucked it this way that way when I take this off it'll be nice and clean underneath now I'm ready for decorating and I use a pretty large cracker down the front um, the club crackers work nice. Any large flat one. Also, Aldi's has an assortment that's great because this is very inexpensive. I got most of this stuff at Aldi's because when you add up all this stuff, it's pretty expensive once you once you get everything. But Aldi's has some pretty good prices. Like I think this assortment of crackers, which gives me a great variety for decorating, um, was under three dollars. So it was like two something. So it was really great value for the great assortment, and they taste really good too. So I'm gonna use the largest ones here for the front of it here, the face of it. And I'm not really concerned right now about decorating for design. I just want to cover the whole thing with crackers first, and then I'll get into my designing and decorating. The Aldi's assortment of crackers is really great. I wanted to just show you real quickly what they look like because you've got some really nice large shapes to work with, and that's a lot easier to do, your large shapes rather than the small crackers. So now to start decorating, basically I use my squirt cheese and I start installing my crackers. Take a minute to plan out how you're gonna do your crackers, and you can kind of just play with what they're gonna look like on here. I know that at the base here, I'm gonna have a little bit of that um, uh, dip that's gonna be like snow. So they don't have to come all the way down to the bottom, but I do want them to have good coverage. So I'm gonna just take a minute to design it. You could even have a base come around with a different cracker, but I kind of like to have them all uniformed and all the same, so I'll just be splitting these down the middle. And it'll be like that. So you'll have a, they can overlap slightly, like so. And again, you don't have to bring it all the way to the bottom. Now, I'm going to show you how you attach the cracker. You're going to use your squirt cheese, and I do it pretty liberally. One, two,
I just did a couple extra layers here at the top so that as you're serving it, it doesn't go right to the blank roof. You could even just lay them. You don't even have to do... Uh, this is so thin, this pepperoni, that it's not going anywhere. So I'm just going to lay a few extra right on the top. That way as they serve it, we have, uh, you know, extra layers. As they take and piece, use a piece of pepperoni with their cracker. There, I think that's enough. Now I'm going to get to decorating the windows and doors. Use your imagination how you want to decorate this. This is the real fun part coming up now. I'm now going to take my dip and I'm just going to spread it kind of thin over in here. I do want some in the back right in here and I'm going to set my house more toward the back so I can decorate the front yard and I have two packages of this dip. It's about a half inch thick. This has a lot of spinach in it, so it'll have a little bit of grass showing through the ground in the snow. And then I'm gonna add the other one. And I'm working pretty fast because I don't want all of this stuff to get, um, you know, this has to be refrigerated. I'm not doing it where the house is gonna be, if you notice. I don't want to waste the dip. I'm just going to sit my house right in there. And I'm trying, oh, that must be a piece of artichoke. It's a spinach artichoke dip. This was at Aldi's as well. And now I'm going to sit my house in it. And then I'm not going to be moving my house anymore. And I've made... I usually make an awning coming out, which makes it really cute. And I use the pepperoni sticks for my awning. And I'll show you how I do that. I cut down my sticks a little bit because they were pretty tall. And I'm just going to add a little bit of, this is going to be the doorway here. So it'll stick at the top. And basically you're now an architect. You are working on structure. I'm going to stick one here. And then I'm going to put some cheese on top to hold. And then I'm gonna stick my crackers. Oh, that wasn't cut pretty. That was cut crooked, so I'm gonna do it this way. Yikes! Let's go before it falls. Right there. That dip I have is pretty thin. The dip is yogurt-based. I may need one like this. There. And so the yogurt base is a little bit softer. So there is my little, let me move this out of the way so you can see it, my little awning. This got a little dirty, I'm just gonna wipe that. Right there. The entrance into the house, which is pretty cute. And um, you can cover it with um, pepperoni if you want to and then for the door I should have did my door actually I'm trying to hurry because uh, I have somewhere to go but I should have done my door first in the back I didn't think of it so I'm just going to slice this down again just do it very gently and slowly if you can oh I'm in a hurry and then stick this back there oh my awning duh. there we go I'm gonna give it a little, that was the one that wasn't cut right. I should have probably redid it. 
But there's my awning. Ooh, that still looks booky. Mm. All right, and always have a paper towel handy because you're now is the time you're going to start getting gooey. All right. There. So there's my door. And you can put little windows on it if you want. And what I've done in the past is take these little pepperonis and I've sliced them because these make really cute um, window frames. And I slice them down the middle. And I use them to frame out my windows here. And that's real cute too. So I take my little cheese and then it matches the wood here. That. You could even use, um, you know, another kind of a cracker for your windows, but that's kind of cute. And so you would make another one over there. Now I'm gonna get on to, when you have your other cheeses, you have your other cheeses, you have your meats, if you get your carrots, however you wanna decorate this, you can place it around. I am gonna put carrots just as a pretty border frame because I want a lot of fresh veggies. So I'm gonna just place and they could be, you know, like a fence coming around here, sticking in. Some of them are too big. But if you had a lot of time, you can really just play, play with it and have fun. But you basically get the idea of the main structure. Last year I did a, a little cute path with, um, you know, your sliced black olives that you can do. I'm gonna put my, oh, so many jimmies fell down. So this will be like a frame for a fence. My carrots. And then your black olives in the middle for a path. So basically just using your imagination as you have, your, as you have all these materials. And I'm gonna just work on this super fast and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. I just stuck some black olives in for the path. Oopsie. Here that look cute. And I did some along the side as some stone. And my back, I just filled with extra little carrots and pepperoni sticks. This is where you kind of help yourself from. And then I'm going to add some rosemary sprigs for the trees. And I, I got these from the garden, so I washed them really good this morning. And then I stripped the bottom ends and then just stick them in. I'm going to cut this one a little bit shorter, like so. And that really gives it some cute character. You want to make sure you use the fresh top part of the stems. Like so. And I'm going to move some of these because I kind of just tossed them in there. And here's the overall look. Now what I'm going to do in the back, because I'm going to someone else's house and I don't want to bring tens of little um, containers, I'm just going to fill this area up in the back here with sliced cheeses and rolled salamis. And I'll show you what that's going to look like. And then I'll be able to bring just a package of crackers so it's easy to serve from. And here's how I did I just very quickly did some rolling and put the cheese slices on top, rolled the salami, put the cheese slices on top. Um, it's Thanksgiving and I need to get to where I'm going, but you get the idea of how to build this simply and then you get the idea of um, how to decorate. And if I was not taking this, I'd have a separate tray of that, but I am taking it somewhere, so I wanted it just all on one tray. 
but there's the look. And I'll show you the one I did last year. I did take a lot more time last year on it, but I wanted to show you the basic skills of just how to put that simple house together and then have fun decorating. I've done just like the cutoff, I've taken Boston butt.